welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. Today's video is an attempt to make your life on Linux a bit easier. This is a video for the terminal, so if this is not your cup of tea, now is the time to click away. But I do promise it will be interesting, and if you do dislike the terminal, it might actually be worth your while to stick around. I am demonstrating this on Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, which in turn is based on Debian, and the steps will be the same for all of those distributions. Today's topic is to introduce you to an easier and more user-friendly way of managing software packages via the Linux terminal. Of course, you can always install a package via your distribution's software center or software manager, but by now you have no doubt seen that if you need to install a package through the terminal, the apt command is being used. And with apt, you can install, update, and remove the packages, basically manage the packages on your system. apt is the acronym for the Advanced Package Tool. But the piece of software that I would like to discuss today is called Nella, N-A-L-A. -A. And I do apologize in advance, I am just not sure if this is pronounced Nella or Nella, so I'm going for Nella. Let's install this first, type sudo apt install Nella and then type Y for yes to continue installing the packages. You can check the version that is installed near the end of the output, and in this case version 0.15.1 was installed. By the way, you can find out the version installed for any packages at any time by typing sudo apt version and then the name of the package. And there is the same version number. And if you want, you can also install Nella via your software center, or in this case, on Linux Mint, it is called Software Manager. Just search for it, and there it is. Nella is described as a command frontend for the apt package manager, as you will discover shortly. But because I just installed Nella via apt, it is already installed, and the version number is the same. Sometimes it is the situation that you can install a higher version of the software directly with apt, but the software manager still has an older version in its repository. Notice that I could remove the packets from here as well, so the software manager and APT are working together. Please also understand that Nella is not a replacement of APT. It still uses APT under the covers. It is just an alternative front-end to APT. If you want to go really in-depth, APT itself is a front-end to DPKG, but that is more information than you likely need to know. Just have a look at the next couple of minutes and then decide for yourself if Nella is something that you would like to use instead of APT. You can study Nella's user manual by typing Nella. And there is the comment about being a front-end to PKG again. The goals of Nella are to be similar to APT but add quality of life changes and improve the output to make it more reader-friendly. Now that does sound promising. Have a further look around if you want, and when you are ready to exit the manual, type Q for quit. Let me now place two terminal windows side by side so that we can see how the same commands will look in apt and in Nella for easy comparison. Now let's assume that I want to install the screen fetch utility. In apt, this would be sudo apt install screen fetch. And no doubt you are very used to output like this. It is all there, but you have to look closely. To use Nella instead, the beauty is that it's the exact same command, but just replace apt with Nella. sudo Nella install screen fetch. And isn't that just easier on the eye? The additional packages to be installed are displayed in a column mode with their version number and their size. The total summary lists the amount of packages and the total sizes. Now let's cancel the apt installation and let's continue with the Nala installation. And just look at that. Although I am in the terminal, it almost doesn't feel like that. There is color, there are progress bars and all sorts of details. You can follow exactly what is going on and it results in finished successfully. And indeed, screen fetch is now installed. Let's try the same for the removal of our packets. The regular command sudo apt remove screen fetch looks like this. Let's cancel out of it and simply replace apt with Nella again. 
sudo nella remove screen fetch. And because you are about to remove things, the green text is now red text. And once more, it is clearly outlined what is going to happen. So let's remove the packets. Crystal clear. Our screen fetch was a very small packet, and you might wonder at this point what's the actual benefit, because all you need is an APT. And that is of course true, but allow me to show you the installation of a more complex piece of software, for example the video editor KDEN Live. This is APT, and this is Nella. I would say that the difference in layout and readability are speaking for themselves. The progress bar is very helpful for larger software installations too. Let's wait for it to finish. I will speed up the footage. And yes, there is KDEN Live neatly listed in the Linux Mint menu structure. To show information about a currently installed packet, let's use htop as an example. In the apt, this would be apt show htop. And the equivalent in Nella, just replace apt with Nella, Nella show htop. Also try sudo Nella search and then the name of the packet. To determine the fastest download mirrors, type sudo Nella fetch and wait for it to finish. The resulting list shows you the fastest mirrors giving your geographical location. You can select the one you like or multiple separated by a space or a comma. In case one of them is unavailable, let me select the first two fastest mirrors and confirm the selection. And there is a message that this has now been written to the nala sourceslist file. Nala also comes with its own command history so that you can easily track Nella's package management over time. Simply type Nella history. And there are the installation and removal of screen fetch and the installation of KDN Live listed. If you would like to see more details about a specific task, type Nella history info and then the task number. Instead of just managing individual software packages, you can also update the system with apt. And of course, you can do the same with Nella. sudo Nella update to fetch the latest package lists from the repositories. And then sudo Nella upgrade to upgrade the installed packages to the latest versions. I think that Nella is very useful and is a bit of a hidden gem. And I hope that this video will just help to give it a bit more attention and awareness. That's it, hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye!